Well, you know, we had talked about the witness protection program. Mm -hmm. And according to this one uh, video I saw of yours, they actually started the program based on something your dad was involved in, right? What I heard and what I read and what I was told afterwards that Gerald Schur, who started that, he was a, uh, a federal prosecutor or worked for the feds at some point in the uh, Justice Department. And he was building a case against my father. And the witness who originally agreed to testify backed off and said no, because Sonny will kill me. Mm -hmm. And that's what started the wheels turning for him to say, we have to have a provision or a, a program in place where these people are not afraid, where they're not going to get hurt if they come forward. So it started with... The ball started rolling with my dad. That's what I was told. Who was the guy that was going to cooperate? Do you remember you the know, story? I don't remember his name. He was, I think he was a truck driver, if I'm not mistaken. You know, okay. it wasn't anybody important, but supposedly my father was shaking him down and do some, doing something. And this was back in, you know, the early 60s, late 50s. Okay. So because of the situation with your dad, they said, okay, we're worried about these mafia guys intimidating witnesses, so we're going to start the witness protection program where we give someone a new identity, right? a new driver's license, uh, a whole new name, and we're going to stick them somewhere in the middle of America mm -hmm. in a house and give them some money and let them live out their days like that. Yeah. And there was an interesting story that you told with a guy named Joseph the Animal Barboza. Mm -hmm. What was Barboza accused of? A murder. Yeah, he was he was a, allegedly a hit man. Uh, I did make a mistake when I did this video. I said he was a made guy. He wasn't. He happened to be Portuguese, but I don't know if I said it in error. Remember, I don't remember. But um, yeah, he was he, he was in the program testifying against people, and um, it's very hard for people to stay in the program. I, I will tell you this: it was probably one of the best tools the government ever created to create informants. Witness protection. Witness protection. Because in that life, people are afraid to testify if they're just thrown out in the cold and left alone. I mean, you had to make a program like this. You know, how many guys have gone into the witness protection program? Tons. I mean, if they started out, I think the second year that they put it in play, they had like 400 people enter it. Hmm. You know, it was a tremendous tool that uh, Sher came up with until today. Right. Well, because when... Uh Barboza was getting ready to testify, a whole bunch of people kept trying to kill him. They kept trying to kill him, yes. Tell me tell me the various things that you heard. Well, you know, outside the courtroom, they had people. They, they were looking for, I mean, they had to hide him out, I think, in a, you know, in some faraway place, and, and he was even discovered there. Right, well, in the courtroom, I think one of the hitmen managed to sneak in the courtroom yeah. dressed like a cop. Yeah. And they caught him before he yes. actually killed him. They caught him before they killed him. And then they decided to put him in the White House. Uh, no, sorry, in that lighthouse. In a lighthouse. In a lighthouse. Yes. And they were going to come in with a boat and bomb the White House. Right. The, the lighthouse, right. Yeah. They're they going to have a boat filled with a bunch of explosives, yes. hit the lighthouse, and blow up the whole lighthouse. Yeah. And then what, they found the boat or something? Or? Yeah, they found out that it was happening and they moved him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they move him to Fort Knox at one point? Yeah, they had him in Fort Knox with all the gold. <laughs> I mean, they didn't, know where else to, they didn't know where else to put him. Because they kept finding him. And, you know, I think it was really largely based upon Parboza. They said, hey, we got to do something here. Uh, we're going to get nobody to testify. And look, I don't care how many, what their surveillance techniques are, they always need witnesses. Informants are their biggest tool. And without them, they don't make cases. Right. And he was eventually killed. Yeah. <laughs> So all that, all that work. Well, he got himself killed. I mean, he did stupid things while he was in the program. He got himself killed. He identified himself. He was, he was just a crazy guy. 